I'm so excited about expansion, about being a creator. And I've listened to you say how you are present in the souls, in the cells, and in our muscles, and that we can feel inclinations and impulses. So I'm desiring this alignment, this feeling of freedom, and hoping you can help me in the art of allowing my body uh, to feel the, sa the sensations that you called yesterday orgasm. Pure alignment. Settle down. <laughs> We're going to talk about this generally. And then the seminar is going to continue to evolve and we'll get even more to the details of physical well being and physical alignment and physical sensation and all of that. But let's just begin here by acknowledging you like these spinning grid discs. And it's pretty easy, isn't it, to find yourself in some momentum of thought to be able to identify sort of which disc you're spinning on. So just for sake of basis of this conversation about anything to do with physical, let's acknowledge that those impulses that you're talking about and that we talk about all the time, the impulse to take a walk, the impulse to have a long drink of something refreshing. The, we were, we were, we were talking about water. <laughs> Apparently there's not much of that here. The impulse to do anything that is physical in nature. Well, those impulses, aren't they inspired from whatever disc you're on? So in your high flying, good feeling, resonant with well being state of being, those impulses would be different from the impulses when you are in despair or in depression or when you are in fear. So let's just leave it there for now and let that percolate just a little bit. And then we'll come back and address that later on because everything that you are inspired to do. Now, that's another thing worth saying that we haven't said, we haven't used the word inspiration in this way before, but must it not be true that inspiration or inclination Inspiration to act is coming off of any of those discs, regardless of where they are in the vibrational scene. So doesn't that make sense? Why, when you're not feeling good, you're inspired to call your honorary friend when you've got something to complain about. Isn't that you never think about that bright sunshiny person who sees the best in everything when you're in a complaining mode, that's not the impulse that comes, is it? and everything about your physical body and its inclination when you're feeling your best isn't that when you want to get out and move your body and embrace the world and when you're feeling your worst isn't that when you want to sort of hole up and pull the covers over your head and veg out as Esther likes to say good let's leave it right there for now we think it is a good basis all right yeah yeah In other words, you want to be in a really good mood when you have an orgasm. Yeah. <laughs> 